We are back with a somber anniversary. Almost three years ago, part of the Champlain Tower South crumbled to the ground, and it's a tragedy that will forever be marked in South Florida history. And today we are hearing from a woman who survived that collapse, and Local 10's Jeff Reinsier joins us with the exclusive interview. At 91 years old, Esther Gorfinkel remembers everything that happened three years ago in that lot behind me, including the man that carried her out of Champlain Towers when the building collapsed. When's the last time you saw him? Oh, a long time. I haven't seen, I seen once. Albert Aguero and Esther Gorfinkel reunited by phone. He in New Jersey, she at her apartment in Aventura. They haven't seen each other in years. Oh my God, it's so great to see you. I mean, our lives will forever be linked together. They were together three years ago when the Champlain Towers collapsed. He spotted her in a stairway trying to get out, threw her over his shoulder, and then out to safety. Thank you. I'm glad to see you. Esther just turned 91. June 24th, 2021, she was in bed on the fifth floor inside Champlain Towers. When there was a violent jolt, her whole apartment began to shake. I feel that it from yesterday. yesterday. You feel like it was yesterday. She put on a robe, began to go downstairs, and was trapped by the rubble in the stairway. And that's when she was spotted by Aguero. I remember everything that happened that day. I know it's probably not something that you want to think about every day, but do you no. think about it? No, no, no. I'm not talking about that every day. It's, it's impossible. You go crazy. And take a very close look at this picture from inside Esther's Surfside apartment. She had lined the walls with awards and accolades for her work volunteering in the Jewish community and with cancer awareness. After the collapse, the only two items of hers recovered from the rubble were two of those awards. Those two pieces in the wall? Which she now has up in her Aventura apartment. This is an award. From Hadassah? From Hadassah. Esther had lived in the building for 40 years. Pictures of weddings, anniversaries, all her keepsakes were gone. Family members have replaced some of the pictures with copies. This is my wedding pictures and this is the old pictures. Today, as time has gone by, the pain remains. Esther lost many friends and neighbors in the tower that day. She had lived there for 40 years. Many times I remember because one of the couples there belonged to my temple, and sometimes the rabbi remembers there and talk about them. A memorial is set for here at 88th and Collins, Monday morning at 10 o'clock. This year, Esther says she's just not up to attending. In Surfside, Jeff Weinsier, Local 10 News.